Hi, this is Josh Rose. I'm one of the librarians at the College of Alameda. This is a video about how to create a reference in APA style uh, manually, because sometimes there's articles that you don't have an option to get the automatic citation. So this is just walking through the process. Um, for reference or for background information, APA style has a website that includes example references. So if you go to apastyle.apa.org and look for references and you scroll down, you should see some reference examples. So there's one for journal articles, and this is the basic format that it takes. But I thought I would start with an example article and just the process for creating it. So this is that example article. The first thing is just to collect the information you need for the reference. So that's going to be the author's year of publication, title of the article, title of the journal, journal volume issue page numbers, and then something called the digital object identifier or DOI link that just looks like this uh, web address, doi.org, and then a bunch of numbers and letters. So we'll collect that right now from this article. So we have the authors here. It's going to be last name, comma, first initials. So we have the first author. And then a comma. And then we go to the next author, last name. So I'm going to say that's this part. And then first initials. So first initial space, second initial space, comma, space, third author. And then for the between the second and the last author, you'll put a ampersand, so the and sign, and then the last author's last name and first initials. So that's it for the um, authors. Year of publication. This is usually you can find this on the article somewhere. Um, in this case, here's at the bottom, 2010. Title of the article, again, this will be on the article itself. Um, one thing to note is for API style, the article has to be in sentence case. So that means proper nouns like names of species can uppercase letter. And the first letter following a colon will also be uppercase, but then everything else after that will be lowercase unless it's a proper name or proper noun. So I'm going to say that Homo and Austro Australopith are proper nouns. Likewise, South Africa, but everything else will start with a lowercase letter. Okay, title of journal. That also you can find on the article usually. So this is going to be the journal science. Volume issue page numbers. So we have the volume here, 328. And then a... Put a comma here and then page number range. So starts at 195, goes to 204. So we just put 195, 204. Digital object identifier. That's at the very bottom. So it's this string of numbers. And it usually starts with 10 dot something, 10 dot 11, 26, 
and then a backslash. So I'm going to take out a bunch of numbers and put that. So it's HTTPS colon backslash backslash doi.org backslash and then the string and numbers. So that's the DOI. The nice thing about this, you can click on it and it will take you to the article. Okay, so then it's just a matter of putting this together. So we're going to take the, it starts with the authors. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and then each element ends with a period. So we have the period here, so that's good. But then we make a space. The next part is year of publication. So this goes in parentheses, and then close parentheses and a period. The next part is the title of the article. And then ends with the period. The next part is title of the journal. And this is going to be, it ends in a comma. And it's actually going to be italicized. So we're going to put this in italics. And the same thing goes for the volume. It's going to be in italics. The issue number, I don't have it on this page, but we can click on the DOI link and it will take us to the article in the journal that was published in. And here you'll see the issue number. So you can look for it in the database record, you can look for it in the journal article itself or just in the journal um, website. So this is going to be in parentheses right next to the volume number and then a comma and then we do the page numbers. Okay, and then it's just adding this link here. And there's the reference. In the discussion post, this is fine, but if you're working with a research paper, you got to add a hanging indent. So you can do that in Microsoft Word. If you take the bottom bubble here, just drag it over half an inch, and then take the top arrow and drag it back. So that makes it easier to read the references. And that's what APA style asks for. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks.